August Heart was founded two years ago by Barton Dore Kuntz, and they had lost their son back in 2008 due to an undiagnosed heart condition, and it was called hyper, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. And um, they wanted to make sure that no other parent had to go through the sudden death of a child. And so sudden cardiac arrest happens in, in one out of 250 kids, and um, that's not right. So I have a friend that told me about August Heart. Her, uh, she works with somebody who uh, had heard about it and had her son tested and she thought of me because my son is pretty active and plays lots of sports and she said, I've, I've heard about this organization, they do free heart screenings for athletes and with Jake starting high school I thought that's something we wanted to do. I actually did not really decide to get screened um, at first, it was kind of by force by my mom. I thought, you know, the service is available, it seems almost irresponsible not to use it. Uh, so we had absolutely no indication that they would find something, he had zero symptoms. It was just something on my list of things to do that I could check off and say, you know, we've done that. You uh, give, they take your height and weight and all that and then um, you go and take two tests and after that a doctor would come in and talk to you about how your test went. Uh, they told me mine was different than everyone else's and that I was diagnosed with WPW. So Jake's condition was diagnosed with um, Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome. It's basically an extra electrical circuit somewhere in his heart and that was determined by an EKG. Um, once that was determined that he had it, they actually have to go in and, and look for where it is. So he had a procedure done um, that fortunately ended up with them correcting it while they were in there. But uh, Jake's extra circuit was fairly close to his good AV node, so it was a it was a somewhat delicate procedure. Potentially, it could have caused such a rapid heartbeat that could have sent him into an arrhythmia, which could have killed him. I was shocked. I was just didn't didn't know what was going on really. I didn't know how to react. I just wanted to have the procedure right then so I could so I could get back to sports, but growing up Jake has played every sport you can imagine. He started out when he was little with soccer and T ball and played flag football and to tackle football to uh, basketball. He even swam all uh, almost every summer of his childhood on swim teams. He tried tennis. Uh, he played on the tennis team in middle school and even tried golf. And uh, his, his big sports are baseball and football, but he, he has played all of them. So Jake and Spencer went to kindergarten um, together. They have been friends since since then and we uh, as a family we have known Spencer and his family all of these years and so uh, it was quite shocking for Jake to be diagnosed but I will say equally shocking to find out that somebody we know uh, has the same condition. We went to the same uh, elementary school and we've played sports since together since we were like really really young. They told me I had uh, Wolf Parkinson's white syndrome. Um, I was just really surprised because, like, I heard that, like, one out of 500 kids have it, and for me and Jake to have it, like, we both known each other forever, and it's just like, it's pretty crazy, honestly. The, this mission of this organization is so important because the healthcare system does not right now require that kids get tested for any kind of heart conditions. And so our students that are out there being active and they look healthy, they seem like they're really fit, they're playing sports, they're, they're at risk because they're not getting this kind of test. And so until we can make it a part of something standard, it's so important for us to fill that gap in the healthcare system. I believe this organization is saving lives. Um, I, I'm very sad for the reason that this organization exists. I think um, that the Coons family is doing a tremendous service to our community by providing heart screens for uh, students and, and athletes and, and people who, who wouldn't even think about getting a heart screening. 
and those very people are the ones you could hear about becoming a statistic. And I thank them, you know, so much for preventing that from happening from up to my son. It's just a great organization. Oh, okay.